Hi, I'm Dr. Michael Gartner, double board certified plastic surgeon. And today we're gonna to review this really amazing anatomical story, co-joint twins. Abby and Brittany Hensel's anatomy is a remarkable blend of shared and individual organs and tissues. So this is actually a true story. This was highlighted on news about 10 years ago and they're still alive, living free, I believe somewhere in the Midwest. The twins each have their own distinct upper body systems. Abby and Brittany have two heads, two brains, two spinal cords, and two hearts. And this is like two independent ladies which are connected by one body, but they think differently. And it's really a truly amazing anatomical story. Each heart pumps blood through the same system. Two hearts, one circulatory system. That's just incredible. Their individual brains and spinal cords function independently from each other, coordinating movements for their respective sides of the body. Abby and Brittany each control the arm on their respective side. In order to walk, they must have a lot of memory where they could coordinate this and do arm movements and they do all sorts of normal activities. Everybody does. And this is all a matter of repetition, learning just like how you learn to walk, but you're doing it with another person. It's amazing. Abby manages the right arm while Brittany controls the left. This division of control extends to their legs as well, with Abby controlling the right leg and Brittany controlling the left. So apparently they, they can walk, they can run, they can do all kinds of normal activities. Their movements are highly coordinated for activities requiring both arms, such as holding objects, typing on a keyboard, or steering a car. I wonder if they have two driver's license or they have one. <laughs> they are able to perform these tasks smoothly thanks to the remarkable synchronization between their two brains and nervous systems. That is just so remarkable, it's incredible. Their skeletal systems include two separate spines that join at the pelvis, maintaining their independent neurological functions. And it's impressive, their spines didn't have any problems like openings, spina bifida, any of that stuff. It's just truly amazing. Each twin also has two lungs, making for a total of four. While their medial lungs are fused to some degree, the outer lungs operate independently. Abby and Brittany have two stomachs, allowing each twin to digest food separately. So I wonder if they get sick, like have a pneumonia, how fast that transfers to the other one. Their sense of hunger or satiety is unique to each twin, as the brains controlling the stomachs are independent. Abby and Brittany each have their own esophagus, which leads to their respective stomachs. Very crazy that they have that. So it's very interesting to see what the difference would be between them as far as their hunger and other lifestyle issues. This is part of their distinct upper digestive systems. Since they each control one side of their body and have separate stomachs, the food each twin swallows travels down her own esophagus and into her own stomach, ensuring that their digestive systems function independently in the upper body. Although Abby and Brittany each control their own side of the body, they experience stomach pain differently. When one twin has stomach pain, the discomfort is felt on the opposite side of the shared body. One eats something that causes their stomach to ache, the other one feels it. That's just insane, that's crazy, but amazing. The twins share one liver. Though it is slightly elongated and enlarged to meet the needs of both bodies, they have a single small intestine which splits into two spastic peristalsis patterns to accommodate their dual physiology. Similarly, they share one large intestine, one bladder, and one set of reproductive organs. Their shared pelvis houses these lower organs and is slightly broader than average to accommodate both individuals. In terms of kidneys, the twins have a total of three. Abby has one on her side, while Brittany has two, this is a unique adaptation that allows for efficient filtration and waste removal, despite the shared urinary system. Well, it makes sense because they're probably drinking the double volume of fluids, so they would need an extra kidney to accommodate that. Their gallbladders are also individual, with two present, aiding in bile storage for digestion. Which makes sense because they have two different stomachs, so they all need bile to go into their different digestive system to digest food. Their skeletal system includes one rib cage, 
but it is widened and contains traces of fused and separate ribs to support both upper bodies. Well, I imagine it's got to be widened if it's got to hold uh, all the extra organs like two hearts, the lungs, and everything else. The surgical removal of the rudimentary third arm at birth Interesting. I wonder where that was located. They don't really say that on this video. Reproductive and urinary anatomy is fully shared. They have one uterus, one birth canal, and one urethra. These organs function to serve the needs of both twins, though their control over these systems is shared and likely cooperative. Overall, Abby and Brittany's unique anatomy can be summarized as follows. Two heads, two spines merging at the coccyx, two brains and spinal cords, two hearts, one circulatory system, four lungs, two partially fused, two stomachs, two gallbladders, three kidneys, one liver, one small intestine, one large intestine, one pelvis, one bladder, one set of reproductive organs, two arms and two legs. Be interesting to see how they act on the social activities. Obviously they date one guy. You know, what other activities do they share and how they get along is just truly amazing. Despite their unique anatomy, Abby and Brittany have defied the odds living full, active lives through cooperation and extraordinary coordination. That's incredible because most conjoined twins at this level who have so many things together, if they're separated, you know, that may risk their lives, but it's also if they're not separated, that can lead to like an early demise as well. So it's amazing that they live full, active and healthy lives. It's truly a remarkable story. So if you like these types of stories, please subscribe and hit the like button and there'll be more on the way.